With us there in Florida, Robert Mayla, veteran criminal defense attorney, and he specializes in DUI work. You know, Robert, the uh, trick she pulled, the uh, descriptive demonstration the prosecution put on in front of the jury of all the empty mugs that would equal how much they drank, it's not an old it's not a new trick. It's an old trick, but it always works. Don't you as a defense attorney hate it when you see the prosecution start lining up all of those empty glasses? Well, I think that it's come, sometimes you have to be careful from the state's standpoint that you're not insulting the jury because the jury is going to hear that the breath test result for one pilot was a little bit over a point zero nine and for the <laughs> other pilot <laughs> oh, a little bit. A little point zero nine isn't point zero eight the legal limit in Florida? It's not the federal standard. But is it, it in, used the state, to be the state. in the state? What is the standard, Robert? It's a, rebut it's a, re it's a rebuttable presumption. It's a rebuttable presumption. You're not presumption. giving it's me a number, a Robert. Number. Tell me what you want to know. Tell me I what want you to know the legal limit for driving for blood alcohol in the state of Florida. It's not per se. If you introduce above a point zero eight, a jury does not get an instruction that the defendant was absolutely impaired. It's a rebuttable presumption. Science is on trial here, and I believe that in the right hands they can demonstrate that this breath test of a point zero eight plus and a zero nine plus is not the same Forget as a blood alcohol test above a point zero eight. This is not blood we're testing. We're testing air from the lung. It has to go through a bunch of conversions. It has to go through a bunch of voodoo math. And I think if they can explain that properly, the jury's going to be able to understand that when flight attendants are, say that these witnesses or these pilots appear to be fine, that there may be a reasonable doubt. That's what I'm saying. Do these guys deserve a medal? Should they be commended? Absolutely not. Should they lose their licenses to fly ever again? Absolutely. But I want to get on the plane with them? Forget about it. But can they prove the case that they were driving or an actual physical control?